What's up guys, Clayford08 here. And this morning I wanted to talk about something uh, kind of different than what I normally talk about. It's not just about cryptocurrencies, it, it's about investments in general. So, some of you guys may have made quite a bit of money off of your investments and you're ready to cash out and go and spend some of that money. And that's awesome. You know, you deserve you deserve to be able to spend some of that money, but don't pull it all out. You know, if you would like to not have to work for the rest of your life, make that money work for you so that you don't have to work. And what I mean by that is reinvest that money into other things that are going to make you more money over your lifetime. You know, if you invested in cryptocurrencies and you pulled all of your money out of cryptocurrencies because you feel like you made the amount that you really wanted to get and you don't want to put it back into cryptocurrencies because you think it's too volatile, okay, I understand. I'm not going to do that personally, but if that's something that you want to do, maybe put some of your money back into an annuity or a CD or a, a mutual fund, you know, any of those things can net you more money over time. Mutual funds are probably going to be the highest gains unless, of course, you want to pick your own stocks. because. The stock market can be tricky, but you can make quite a bit of money on the stock market. But if you don't want to worry about any of that, just pick a really good high yield mutual fund. And the reason that I say this is because I've, I've started noticing a trend where people in cryptocurrencies, you know, we're all so young. Like, I'm 27 years old. I don't know how old you are personally, but a lot of us that have gotten involved in cryptocurrencies are very young men and women. And we think, oh, we've made all this money. Like, let's just go out and, you know, buy that nice new car. And like, not everybody can afford Lamborghinis. Let's, let's be real. I'm not talking about, you know, <laughs> everybody that is, you know, using the memes of buying Lambos. Like, I'm talking about people that even go out and buy BMWs or, you know, Cadillacs or things like that. Those are still really expensive vehicles. You're never going to see me go out and buy one of those things because it's not a smart investment. As soon as you drive a vehicle off of a lot, it decreases 30% in value. So why the fuck am I going to buy something that is going to decrease 30% in value within 10 minutes of me driving it off of a lot? I'm just not going to do that. That's me personally, guys. I'm not telling you you shouldn't go out and buy a nice car if that's something that you really love. But you need to be smart about your investments. You need to be smart with your money. Because if your money is not working for you while you're going out and buying all of those things, how do you plan to sustain that lifestyle? You really need to be thinking about these things, guys. And I wouldn't be saying any of this if it weren't true. There are people that are clearly going out and spending more money than they're taking in, thinking, oh, I just made a shit ton of money off of cryptocurrencies, and I'm set. That's not true. Not if you live like an idiot. So just keep that in mind. You know, whenever I get out of the Air Force and I'm completely done, I'm living off of cryptocurrencies. I'm still going to be living the same lifestyle 
that I was when I was in the Air Force because I want to sustain my life doing this. Does that make sense? I really hope it does because I don't want people to fall trap to making these easy, easy money mistakes. It's so simple to go out and spend all of your money Really, really simple. But it's difficult to hold on to your money and even reinvest it once you've already made a lot of money. That's all I wanted to talk about this morning. Guys, just, just think about what I said and, you know, if you think I'm full of shit, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. You probably won't won't get what I'm trying to say and you'll probably go and spend all of your money but if you liked what I'm talking about I can elaborate more in other videos so just let me know in the comments below and let's uh let's get some conversations started about how to be smart with your money how to make your money work for you Alright guys, I will see you tonight on Pimp My Portfolio, Clayford 08, out.